Okay, hi everyone. We're gonna start off with a little exercise real quick, okay? You guys don't have to do anything. I just want you guys to mentally picture, but don't say anything out loud, okay? For 10 seconds, I want you guys to judge me, positively or negatively. Just look at me, make assumptions about me, stereotype me, I could care less, okay? Go. <laughs> Okay, that was a fast 10 seconds, but it works. Okay, so five things you should have picked up about me. I'm a female, obviously. I'm black, I'm short, um, I'm kind of chubby, and, um, oh no, let's see, I, oh, oh, and I also have short hair. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> okay, so let's start off. So I'm short, so that means I'm obviously intimidated by really tall people, you know, they scare me, I need defending. Let's see, I'm kind of chubby, you know, obviously I'm not a 100 pound girl. Um, so, I, you know, I'm super unathletic, you know, I need help running. Truth be told, running a mile, like, takes the breath out of me. Thirdly, I'm a female. Oh, wait, sorry, well, let me go make a sandwich, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, let's see, fourth, let's see, fourth, I'm black. Ooh, stereo, black stereotypes, here we go. Let's see, she's ghetto, she's uneducated, she probably has a baby daddy on the side, okay? She was probably pregnant, like, last week, okay? You're just, just, yeah. Um, and lastly, she has short hair. Oh, obviously she's a lesbian. You know, truth be told, I didn't know that uh, a stereotype of a lesbian was having a short hair until, like, when I actually got my hair cut. It's like, thanks guys for telling me that after I got my hair cut. <laughs> um, but I really want to know, like, why do we judge people? You know, I feel like our parents don't spoon, you know, when we were babies, they didn't spoon feed us judgments. Like, oh, little Johnny, here, have applesauce and Mexicans have a lot of kids. <laughs> Like, here, have some sweet potato, and white people have no rhythm. <laughs> Did you go to prom? Did you see prom? That was, oh, God. Woo. Bad. <laughs> um, but, I mean, but why? Why, can, why can't I just walk up on stage and you guys just think, oh, I know nothing about her. I'll wait until she says something, then I'll make judgments about you. But me just walking up here, I don't know if you assumed those five things about me, but hopefully those are things that you obviously noticed. Now, I feel that um, there are three main causes to us judging, three main causes in our society um, as, as to the reason why we judge people. First thing, our family and friends. You know, like I said, our parents, you know, shouldn't be feeding us stereotypes, but our friends most definitely um, develop the opinions of us, you know. I, I hang out with people that don't smoke pot, but if you do, okay, those are the people that you hang out with, and so you're probably really influenced by that. Um, secondly, um, your social media interactions. I only have Instagram and Twitter. I don't have a Facebook, but probably a bunch of you guys have like all the social media apps on your phone and whatever. That's cool. Um, um, but I go on Twitter a lot, maybe not so much on Instagram, but on Twitter, I see so many tweets with, you know, just the N-word all over the place. And it's like those things reinforce the stereotypes towards, more specifically, um, black people. And so, you know, you look at those tweets and you're like, oh, these tweets must be true because everything on the internet is true. <laughs> um, and, so, and so you walk around, you see black people, you're like, oh, they're the N-word. That's not appropriate to say. Don't say that. That's so uncool. Um, and lastly, what I think is the most important is, is the most important part of us making judgments about each other is the media. I feel like the media um, enforces enforces our opinions. You know, you look at these beautiful images of these skinny girls with big boobs and, and big butts and small waists and you're like, oh, wow, I need to look like that. Or like a hunky guy with nice six pack abs and beautiful face and lovely hair. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I got, whew, got a little bit distracted there. But I mean, maybe not so much for us because we're older now, so we should be a little bit more used to how we are and our image and everything. But to a really influential fourth, um, like fourth, fifth, and sixth grader, looking at those images, they think, oh, I need to look like that. You know, it's, you know, advertising today is being shoved down our throats. And it's, I mean, advertisers, marketers are just finding a way to sell anything to any of us. 
you know, and they especially like to use sex. You know, you see the picture of the girl with the big boobs, and you're like, oh, he needs to have that. Or you see the guy with the six-pack abs and the nice swim trunks and the beautiful hair. And <laughs> woo, just, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Told you, not a lesbian. <laughs> um, um, and, those, and those pictures are really influential. I mean, um, did you know that, sorry, did you know that 24 million men and women are living with anorexia and bulimia? It's a horrible disease. That means that they have a bad relationship with food and their body type. And I emphasize men and women because specifically men, I'm speaking more over here because the guys are more over here, 10 to 15% of that population um, are men which you really don't know about the men so much because of gender stereotypes surrounding the guys. Now that's a whole another TED talk for later, but I really want to focus on image. Now, um, as I just said that the media reinforces our opinions and images about each other. And I noticed this because um, in my Genius Hour project, um, the way I came up with my Genius Hour project is because a long time ago, um, I brought a fashion magazine to school. I wanted to show my friends some clothes or whatever that I found in the magazine. Because I really, I, I love clothes, I love fashion. When I grew up, I wanted to go into the fashion industry, so I bought this magazine to school. And I showed my friend, and my friend was like, I don't want to see that. And I was like, why not? I love magazines. And she said she can't see it because of the ads in there and how they really affect her and how they just make her feel bad about herself. No one should ever feel bad about yourself. You should never look at something and be like, man, I'm like the lowest life on this planet Earth. Never, you should never compare yourself to anybody or anything. And so it made me kind of mad, not at her, but so much at these ads, because I love magazines and I want to share my favorite thing with everybody without someone having to look at it and feel uncomfortable. So that was kind of the basis of my Genius Hour project and how it came along. I decided to make a magazine, if you didn't already know. Um, and, I, and the good thing about my magazine is that there is 0% Photoshop. All the pictures are taken by yours truly. And um, there's really no editing, maybe like copy and pasting or whatever. Um, two reasons why, because I wanted to get my point across that you don't need Photoshop to come off as real you know, as acceptable, and, se and um, secondly, because I didn't want to take the time to learn how to use Photoshop. <laughs> th th there is a learning curve to those, to those things, so it's like, you know, whatever. Um, but I really, I really learned a lot about myself through this project. You know, I, I was never the type of girl to grow up and look at ads and be like, oh, I want to look like that. I feel like, thanks to my mom and dad, they taught me to be very accepting of myself, thank God. But I mean, to other people, I see it every day, girls, girls and guys walking around with their heads low, you know, not looking like the happiest people in the world. Maybe it's because um, they got a bad grade, you know, their boyfriend and girlfriend broke up with them recently. But I feel like they just don't feel accepted. You should always feel accepted. You should respect yourself 24-7. No if, ands, or buts about it. You know, they say wake up in the morning and give yourself three compliments, which you should. It will boost your self-esteem for the entire day. It will make you feel good. Like, hey, I said my hair looked nice this, mo it looked nice this morning. Let's go the day looking with nice hair. Um, and, I think, and I think it's really ironic how society likes to advertise or People like to advertise, you know, individuality, you know, be yourself, do this, do that. But then once you actually get out into the real world, society will judge you and they will point at you and they will laugh at you and you will be crying. And guess who won't be crying with you? Society. Okay, so it's, you have to take those judgments with a grain of salt. Now, I'm not saying stop judging people because judgments are, uh, is a, human is a human coping mechanism. We judge other people to make ourselves feel better. But all I'm just saying is don't judge them so harshly. You know, learn about the people. Be open-minded because you might be surprised.